Hey, just wanted to do a quick uh, instructional video on the Hoodoo. A lot of people had asked for this, so just wanted to uh, do a quick instructional on getting on a single rope and adding friction and tying off. Um, the Hoodoo is made by a company called On Rope Canyoneering. Uh, everything's made right here in Phoenix, and uh, it's made out of 7075 aluminum, which is really great stuff. Uh, weighs just a little over four ounces, um, and it's a great little device. So getting on rope is fairly simple. We're going to take a, a bite of rope and pass it through the head of the Hoodoo, and that's going to clip into our carabiner. Go ahead and lock that down. Uh, this is the kind of standard setting um, and the least amount of friction that you can have. Um, and typically I'll start most of my repels this way unless there's a reason not to. Um, if I'm repelling and I find that I need a little bit more friction, the first kind of friction setting uh, is to come up and over uh, the arm there. And that'll provide a little bit of friction. And um, usually that'll uh, be pretty good for most folks. If you're finding that uh, you're on a skinny rope or you're on the heavier side of carrying a big load and you need more friction than this, uh, on the fly you can simply wrap the arm one more time uh, and that will provide even more friction to you. And for most folks, uh, in most situations, uh, this is more than ample, even on a skinny rope. Uh, from here, if you want to lock off and go hand-free, it's pretty simple. Just come back around the cleat one more time, take a bite, twist it, and lock it off on the other cleat, and you can go completely hands-free and do what you need to do. Um, Super simple, fast, and secure. Uh, to come out of this, uh, pretty simply, just grab the brake hand again, always wanting to maintain control of this, and basically reverse the procedure, come off that cleat, uh, back down, uh, and then from here you can uh, readjust your friction to what you want. Okay. Uh, second option is if you're in this position, instead of doing kind of that half setting that I showed you, uh, if you want even more friction out of the gate, uh, you can simply wrap the horn, uh, and that'll provide uh, more friction than that first setting. Uh, and again, if you're moving and you still feel like you need some more, you can grab this a second time uh, and that'll be a lot of friction. And that should cover almost all applications uh, for most people. Um, tying off from this position is super easy as well. Same as before, I'm just going to come up a little, put a twist in the rope around the other cleat, and I'm going to lock it off. And again, now I'm hands-free and do what I need to do. And again, reversing it is, is the same way. Pop it out, maintain control, and off you go. One other uh, setting I'll show you, um, which is not adjustable on the fly, is if you wanted a lot of friction uh, to start, you can wrap one of the horns on the bottom. Uh, this will, you'll start out with a lot of friction in this mode. Um, this might be good if you were planning on picking someone off or you were on a super skinny rope or a uh, much bigger guy or gal, uh, you might find this setting useful. Uh, and then all the other settings are still available to you. You can uh, add friction this way or back or around. Uh, whatever you need to kind of fine tune that to make it feel good for you. So um, again, uh, locking off is the same from here. Nothing changes. Uh, so whatever mode you're in, that kind of works. So hopefully that's helpful. If you have any questions, you can email us at uh, contact at onropecanyoneering.com. Thanks a lot.